欢迎大家回到鹅林图的实况足球频道。那么之前有小伙伴留言说，这个在线的慈善赛，这个 Solidary 啊、um, Challenge 这个比赛没有看过瘾啊。之前只是有一场啊，最后格里兹曼跟曼联小将比赛。那么我们今天。呃，再来带来一场啊、呃，这个慈善赛系列赛中的第一场比赛，那么是两个法国人之间的内战，一个是大家熟悉的巴萨球员格里斯曼，另外一边是久利啊，久利已经退役了，但他其实也是有啊他的高光时刻，他是这个出身于法甲俱乐部里昂的一名球员。啊，中间也曾经在巴萨、摩纳哥、罗马，还有大巴黎效力过。那么他是四十三岁啊，所以说，呃，估计打实况的经历跟这个格里兹曼还是有很多的差距。我们来看一下这个系列慈善赛中的第一场比赛，由久利。对阵格里兹曼，双方使用的都是巴塞罗那。那么废话不多说，请大家去欣赏。如果大家喜欢这样的视频，欢迎留言，我们会上传更多的视频。另外，也希望大家三连来支持我的频道，谢谢。Played for Barcelona, they should know the team in and out. Obviously, Griezmann will have the advantage in that respect, playing for the the team currently. But yep, looks like this one actually will be. Antoine Griezmann, Harry, and it was、uh, a tackle by Busquets. It does seem slightly bizarre as the commentator when you've got a Barcelona player tackling a Barcelona player, but I'm sure we'll get there in the end. <laughs> yeah, it was、uh, quite tricky to get your head around it, but、uh, it should be a really interesting one, purely based on how experienced Griezmann is, but also. Because of his opponent formerly playing for the club himself, so a lot of bragging rights on the line here as well. I mean, I don't blame him for putting himself on that free kick, Darren. I think I would do the same.、Uh, we've commentated over uh, uh, Pez tournaments before, where professional footballers haven't even played themselves. On the pitch, so it's、uh, it's good to see Griezmann really getting into the spirit of the event. I, I fully anticipate him being on every single free kick, every penalty, and, and probably every corner as well. Well, he maybe did something there that he'd like to do in Barcelona. He actually took Lionel Messi off the free kick and put himself on it, which you don't often <laughs> get the chance to do in the camp now. Anyway, here is、uh, Antoine Griezmann. Don't forget the yellow. Barcelona away strip is、uh, Antoine Griezmann, and the home strip is, is、uh, home strip is、uh, Ludovic Juli, and that was good defending there by Gerard Piquet to get the ball behind. I would think, from a, a tactical perspective here, and bearing in mind you've you picked out Antoine Griezmann as potentially the favourite, the fact he's made a decent start like this will give Ludovic Juli a certain amount of confidence, Harry. Yes,、yeah, certainly.、Um... A lot of Pez is played in this midfield third, so if you can't control the ball like Griezmann is doing here after momentarily losing it, you're always going to set yourself up really well for an attack. One thing that Julie is doing well though is defending early. He's getting to the ball first, so something Griezmann will have to get his head around. The ball in there by Messi and、uh, Antoine Griezmann was the target.、Uh, Vidal over there losing out to Griezmann, the other one, and、uh, Suarez can now get involved in the game. Is Dembele, Artur, and Umtiti made the challenge back there. Here's a bit of space for Antoine Griezmann as the away kitted Barcelona come forward. Now, don't forget, this is Antoine Griezmann controlling this team. Here's Jordi Alba, Griezmann with the chance, and down quickly to Schneggen, the goalkeeper. Well played there from Griezmann, encouraging opening 20 minutes for him. I wonder whether or not it might just. Way on his mind a little bit that he is playing against a former Barcelona player. Obviously, we fully anticipate Griezmann to go quite deep in this tournament, but has to overcome this hurdle first. Suarez looking to turn, supported here by Griezmann, and then De Jong, Alba forward. It's a nice football that in and around the penalty area, but ultimately comes to nothing.、Now、don't forget, the winner will go through. The loser is out. And Ludovic Juli's team have this corner to defend, which is taken short to Jordi Alba. Is Messi? Alba drills that across the、uh, penalty area, clawed away by the goalkeeper, kept alive here by Alba, who's actually being marked by Jordi Alba. So it's Alba against Alba. Here's Griezmann, controlled by Griezmann, who shoots and it's in. It's、yes. the first goal of the game. 
Absolutely. And it's scored by Luis Suarez. And uh, Antoine Griezmann, the pre-tournament favourite in many people's eyes, scores first here in this one against Ludovic Juli. Just a nice late peeling run there from the Uruguayan. He's done that so, so often for Barcelona. Now he's performing on the virtual pitch as well. Griezmann will be disappointed he didn't score the first goal of the tournament with his own virtual representative, but Luis Suarez does the business. So in many ways, it was a double assist. Antoine Griezmann assisting Antoine Griezmann, who teed it up on a plate for Luis Suarez. So uh, Ludovic Juli finds himself behind. Antoine Griezmann's Barcelona are ahead by one goal to nil. And now the emphasis is on uh, Ludovic Juli to try and find a way back in. And he's trying to do that down that side with Jordi Alba. And eventually it's worked here to uh, Gerard Piquet. I think what we are seeing at the moment, Harry, is the fact that as a defensive team, Ludovic Juli's Barcelona seem to be OK, but they're not quite fluent, are they, when they get forward? Yet when we see Antoine Griezmann controlling his Barca side, there's a lot more creativity and inventiveness. Yeah, you're not wrong. And we can see it here again as Griezmann has a real chance. I think Sergio Roberto will just get there first. But I think maybe Julie might be a, a little bit jealous about the fact Griezmann can control a virtual version of himself. He might be thinking that maybe 2004, 2005 Barcelona in the game might have been helping him out and he might be putting up a better attacking force. But he's still in this game, only down by one, half-time approaching. Antoine Griezmann using the fullbacks well. Jordi Alba down the left in particular. Gerard Piquet can bring it away here for Julie. And then up towards Suarez, who was challenged by Piquet. Then Pele to uh, Griezmann. And then uh, Messi was making the run through the middle. And it was good defending back there. Although Tostegen was just forced to hurry there before he got it away. Antoine Griezmann's Barcelona back in possession here with Frankie de Jong. Suarez, now Messi. Vidal combining over there with Nelson Semedo and then Busquets can pick up the pieces. Here's De Jong, slipped through here to Griezmann. Back it goes, Vidal running through, brilliant goal. Fantastically done that from Antoine Griezmann, finished off by Arturo Vidal. Griezmann leads Julie by two goals to nil. And that was slick, sharp, inventive, incisive football. A fantastic way for Antoine Griezmann to double his lead. Honestly, the confidence that Antoine Griezmann plays with in the final third he just has so much time and patience the peel off from Vidal was perfect the finish matched it uh, a goal scorers game here for Griezmann as he's up to now with half time very much on the horizon well there is half time Luis Suarez and Arturo Vidal with the goals in the first half for Antoine Griezmann's Barcelona and so far Harry living up to your prediction before the tournament kicked off that he might well be the man to beat well, this is it. He's very experienced with the game of pairs and I'm not sure how much game time Julie has under his belt, but Griezmann is well experienced and you can see that in his confidence in the build-up play. Plays with a lot of sort of uh, professional pairs players as well, so no doubt would have got some tips and tricks off of them. He's uh, well versed in the world of eFootball pairs. Excellent football again here from uh, Griezmann's Barcelona. It was Griezmann looking to try and find a way through. He's still going here. Here's Suarez. Stepping in there was Gerard Piquet. Suarez to Messi. Antoine Griezmann. Luis Suarez. And Piquet did just about enough there. Ludovic Juli surviving. I suppose he's got a, a fighting chance still if he can score the next goal in the match, but at the moment it's one-way traffic. Yeah, the problem is for Julie and, and the difference between the two squads, they're both playing that 4-3-3 that Barcelona in the real world like to employ, but the difference is... As yeah, Suarez would get a strike a away here. That was a good <laughs> chase. Suarez would the shot. Tipped over the bar by to Stegen. That was something that might just give Ludovic Julia a shot of confidence. See what they can do from the corner. Messi with the ball in and headed away by Sergio Busquets. That the might just have been a momentum though. changer had that managed to sneak under the bar. What Griezmann's doing differently is that he's able to introduce the, the midfield three into the final third. That's something that Julie is, is almost trying to force the ball forward. He needs to try and get that midfield 
triplet into an attacking position as you watch Griezmann here using dummy runs he's using the entire width of the pitch at times whereas Julie feels like he has to go forward all the time and well it's hurting him in the long run Here's Arturo Vidal, who scored the second goal in the first half for Antoine Griezmann's Barcelona. Frankie de Jong now onto Dembele. Now Suarez, and they're looking to threaten again. It's Dembele with the opportunity. Really good challenge in there for Ludovic Juli's side. Here's Sergio Busquets. Messi. Wonderful turn. Still going here, Messi, although Longley made an important challenge. Desperate defending at times back there, isn't it, for Ludovic Juli? Hanging on and hanging on and trying to hang in there. And that one may be a kick out in frustration because of the amount of defending he's having to do. It will be a, a free kick to Griezmann's Barcelona, but you're right. I suppose that the plus side for Juli at this point, it is only two. Messi! Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> Brilliant yes. goal from Lionel Messi. I once commentated on him scoring one like that in a European fixture, which turned out to be his 600th goal for Barcelona. And that was almost a carbon copy. Left foot, top corner, and nothing that Ludovic Juli could do with, with regards to getting to Stegen across there to save it. Magical Messi, and that's 3-0 to Antoine Griezmann. I questioned whether or not Griezmann might just try and float one into the box, but up steps Leo Messi. And, uh, well, it's three now. Really difficult to see Juli come back in this one for a result maybe there is a goal in it for him if Griezmann's concentrations maybe dip but so far he has absolutely bossed this fixture well sometimes you watch a Pez match and you see players do things that ordinarily they wouldn't be able to do but that's exactly what Messi can do and he did it there so uh, the electronic version living up to the real life version of the all-time great Lionel Messi and it's been a very good performance here by Antoine Griezmann's Barcelona, a comfortable situation that they find themselves in. And that Ludovic Juli's found it very, very difficult to respond. Here's Messi again, Griezmann looking for another one. It's a good save. Can Dembele come on the follow-up? Yes, he can. It's 4-0. And it's starting to run away from Ludovic Juli now. And Antoine Griezmann scoring two in the first half and two in the second half. This one from Dembele. And it's 4-0. I mean, the shot initially just had so much venom on it. And at this point, it's a show match for Griezmann. He wants to try and score as many as possible or maybe put out a statement of intent for the rest of the competitors in this competition. It's four now. Well, really I was well say, worked. The, on the only thing that's probably disappointing uh, Antoine Griezmann, the real life Antoine Griezmann at the moment, is the fact that Griezmann in his team hasn't scored yet. The goals have been shared around, but so far we don't see the name Griezmann on the scoreboard. Here's at Jordi Alba, and now Arturo Vidal, and now Lionel Messi for number five. He can walk it in to Stegen with a big save. <laughs> well, he thought it was going to be five, and uh, Julie somehow able to pull off the save to Stegen there for Barcelona. Thought for all the world that Messi was going to get number five. Taken short by Messi into Vidal. I think that will come as a little bit of relief to Ludovic Julie. The fact he's got the ball out of play and they can have a bit of respite. It's been one way traffic, wave after wave of Antoine Griezmann attacks. And the scoreboard tells you just how emphatic it's been so far. Here's Nelson Semedo, Lionel Messi back again to Semedo, and they're queuing up in the middle if they can get it in there. And the opportunity of a counter-attack there, snuffed out by a combination of Umtiti and Piquet. Here's Dembele, Jordi Alba. And headed just wide to Stegen, wouldn't have got there. It's another excellent move from Antoine Griezmann, who's controlled these Barcelona players superbly in this game. Well, if you want to hear something really disappointing, I think Antoine Griezmann has subbed off Antoine Griezmann. I think he's had enough of his virtual performance and has brought on Usman Dembele, who of course scored just moments previous. So I suppose it was the right substitution. A little bit disappointing for me though, Darren. Yeah, 
it's, it's actually got rid of any chance of Griezmann tackling Griezmann with Griezmann at the control. So that we can forget that. <laughs> We've mentioned it two or three times. It's not going to happen. Uh, what is going to happen, though, is Antoine Griezmann's going to go through to the next round unless we have uh, the all-time greatest best comeback that anybody's ever seen. Yeah, cleared away by Artur. And now there's a possibility for uh, Messi to get forward here for Ludovic Juli. And is there going to be a consolation goal at the end of all this? He's still going here, Messi. There's the cross, but he's managed to hit the side netting. And we are going to see, though, the uh, yellow card for Suarez for that, which, uh, <laughs> yeah, even, even in, the, even in the, the, uh, the game version, you're going to get a yellow for that, Harry. I'm surprised it wasn't worse, to be honest with you. That was... I mean, completely out of control from Luis Suarez, but at this point, Griezmann, uh, he won't mind. He could get three players sent off and he'll probably still be sailing through. There's Albert. Ike's got to go out there. Long lay with the challenge. Then Bele with the clearance. Here's Messi. Taken off him by De Jong. Now Busquets. Suarez to Vidal. And back to Suarez, who's in for number five and gets number five. If you think back to the first 20 or so in-game minutes, he was defending really, really well, but just lost track of Suarez there. And as you said, you can tell how confident Griezmann is in controlling his virtual players. Too many Barcelona home-stripped players rushing towards the ball. Suarez doing what he does, finishing off chances. And, well, Griezmann will be advancing, and it's the, the performance we expected. Now we just have to think about who could really challenge him here in the solidarity challenge well it's a marker laid down by Antoine Griezmann a 5-0 win against Ludovic Julie. Antoine that was a fantastic